Ever since I stepped into PC gaming, I've been naturally drawn towards games with advanced movement mechanics and it got to the point where I judge games 90% based off movement and then the other 10% is graphics, story, gameplay, whatever else. Starting with Doom, the majority of the game is strafe running, the moving sideways thing. It looks really cool in speedruns, but it does not translate to much fun when I do it. Never finished a Doom game. It goes and see. Quake is the godfather of bunny hopping and with all the rocket and grenade boosts amplifying it, it's just gorgeous. Power bunny hopping is a bit awkward though, 8 tier nonetheless. Quake 2, I only messed around with the RTX demo, it did not impress me, D tier. Never played Quake 3, but I tried Return to Castle Wolfenstein. It lacks the craziness of Quake, but it's the same strafe jumping. I didn't finish it because I had input issues and my resolution kept resetting to 640x480. D tier, Rage looks cool, open wasteland, ready to unleash the speed jumping, but E tech is just a pain every time. 60 FPS cap, moving the mouse slow didn't move at all, the console was broken, I couldn't type in it. Eid 5 Tweaker did not save it. Overall D. I played some Defrag more recently on Momentum Mod. This was like my first good experience with the movement style. It also brings the air control from Quake 1, which makes it infinitely better. I will use Quake 3 to represent Defrag. A tier. Momentum Mod is so good. It just works perfectly. And it has everything, even in this alpha playtest state. It goes straight to S. Call of Duty 4 is the only card I played on PC. And I only played for a few hours, because it kept crashing about halfway through the game. It was pirated so it's whatever. I will throw this in D but just watching 5 minutes of jumping on crash bumps it to C tier. Half-Life is the definition of perfection. There will never be a game that can replace or replicate the raw Half-Life 1 movement because it is not just the movement, it's that gold source feel, the physics, the graphics, the quirks, all the boosting methods, AG, fast run. I don't know fast run guys, I don't know, wh I don't know why most of the people hate that map. Oh my God. S tier. I played Sven Co-op quite religiously at one point. It's the same movement, the only real difference would be the lower max speed. I don't have the patience anymore. If I see another one of these 66% oh barriers, oh. I'm typing quick on the console. D tier. Team Fortress Classic only made the list because of Kong. I fucking hate Kong, it's frustrating. Kong players just be steaming their brain with the beeps and the pops. goes straight to F. Counter Strike never really catered to me as much as Half-Life, but I can appreciate the uniqueness of 1.6. Count jumps, duck tapping, sets itself apart from the later Counter Strikes. Plugins for CSGO try to replicate this mechanic on HNS servers, but 1.6 will always be the most authentic. A tier. Condition 0 deleted scenes, cuts speed if pre-strafing too hard, and completely resets to 0 when trying to b-hop. This is the most crippled movement in any Gold Source game. Thanks to Bunny Mod XT, we don't have to buy a Mac just to make it playable. It does become Half-Life, so I will be rating it based on vanilla. It's awful. D. James Bond 007 Nightfire crashes when loading into a map, and the speedrunning package runs at a total amount of 1 FPS. Judging from speedruns, it kinda looks like ABH with how speed accelerates on every jump. I cannot give this more than a C before I find a playable version. Day of Defeat. This is the worst game Valve ever made. F tier. I really tried to love Cry of Fear, but the stamina pisses me off. It's also unfortunate that the engine version is right before Gold Souls got raw input and injecting external breaks the inventory. I honestly enjoyed Afraid of Monsters more, but I'm still a fan, I'll give it at least C. Counter Strike Source is undoubtedly the core of competitive Source movement. Anybody from CSGO, CS2 that gets into bunny hopping or surfing trickles their way down to Source eventually. It's more polished, there's pre-strafe, turn binds just work. I don't have many hours on Source, but I watch a lot of surf. It goes in A. Half-Life Source is a downgraded version of Half-Life. I played it once and never felt like touching it again. It should not exist. Half-Life 2, ABH, AHOP. I used to hate on it, but it kinda grew on me over time. It's always fun in those chapters where you have to drive some kind of vehicle. Entropy 02 is the most recent one I played, and Venture Ghost through Exhumation Zone was just a bunch of hitting slopes and dying. I think it's safe to say I'm an AHOP enjoyer now. B tier. Source cannot save this abomination, it's the equivalent of a cockroach in video game form, it's repulsive. F tier. I think Team Fortress 2 is a bit overly glazed, it never appealed to me whatsoever, but I have a level of respect for rocket jumping and the stickies, they look skillful, I can give it a healthy B. Left 4 Dead's bunny hopping is so uniquely crafted, the low tick rate removes any scroll wheel RNG, the lack of a B hop cap makes every tick perfect jump feel earned and extremely rewarding, every slope grants a boost 
boost, you get to maintain speed from miniguns, skip water like a stone, outrun the infected, outrun players and steal their melee, steal their meds. This is the most satisfying form of bunny hopping in any source game. S tier. Yeah, I put Left 4 Dead in S tier. You guys wanna do some? Honestly, if you guys wanna look in my eyes, you guys wanna do something? Portal 2 is okay. I enjoy some Portal 2 every now and then. B tier. CS2, I mean the run boosts, the little stars, the edge bugs, they're undeniable. And then you top someone with the Nova. Incredible satisfaction. This goes straight away. The sliding in Black Mesa looks kinda goofy, I'm not gonna lie. It's like that blue shit you can't jump on in Momentum mod, but it's unique for sure. I played through the game a few times and quite enjoyed it. Confident B. Titanfall 2 is a rare gem. Incredibly complex. I don't like Titan combat, but pilot movement is chef's kiss. I honestly need to play it again. If we ignore the fact that it installs EA bloatware, the game is A tier. Maybe even S. Before I played Apex Legends, I believe this would be my favorite game, but it got boring a lot quicker than I thought. It does not live up to Titanfall. Still one of the better games on this list, B tier. I have no idea how many times I died from fall damage in Far Cry 3. There's a bunch of radio towers you have to climb and the wingsuit was awkward. The gameplay was really good, you know, Vaas taught me the definition of insanity, but the movement is basic and it made me install Ubisoft Connect. C tier. 3 is the only Far Cry I played. This game fell off. Pixel Gun 3D went from S tier all the way down to F. Once upon a time it was my pride and joy, but it went downhill with each update. I tried it again when it released on Steam. It will never be the same. It's unrecoverable. The Prince of Persia trilogy is filled with puzzles and climbing, the most iconic wall run in video game history, and oh my god, Kylina had me bricked. All three get a B. Unfortunately, past two thrones, the franchise became complete dog water. Rain of fire! Oh Keep running, Sauron! Transformice is a childhood classic. This innocent looking mouse game has surprisingly complex mechanics. Hitting corners grants a speed boost, you can climb walls, build momentum, cancel it by jumping or spamming the opposite direction. The shit people do in bootcamp is incredibly difficult. Only those who tried it can truly understand. On a movement scale, this gets a straight A. The Will Smith zombie game is an underwhelming buggy mess with a pay to win system that robbed me of my sanity. Fucking F tier. Keep my wife's name. I don't even know why I put Unturned on this list. Just like Apex, Valorant was a game I thought I would put hundreds of hours in, but then I played it and it got stale within a few matches. I even experienced e-daters, I thought that was like a TikTok thing, like it's staged. No, it really happens in game. Ray single-handedly drags it to C tier, otherwise it would go in D. I love Minecraft parkour. It's just not that fun anymore after getting accustomed to all the source strafing. It still has a special place in my heart, goes in B tier. Alright, the list ends here. If your favorite game, Ultra kill is not on this list, it's because I haven't played it. Drop your thoughts in the comment section.